it is just a hackberry in our backyard. It's not a very useful tree. It's not used to construct our houses like the tall straight pine. In the fall, rather than burst into a kaleidoscope of colors, the small leaves of the hackberry simply turn brown, wither, and fall, clogging our gutters. It's just a good-for-nothing hackberry that sits in the far end of our backyard, an area forgotten by us for many years. We turned our backs to an area not worthy of our constrained time in favor of something more comfortable. As our family grew, though, what was comfortable had become uncomfortable. We wanted more space to run and play. We longed to test our strength and daring. We wanted to climb trees to as high as our stomachs would allow, and to swing from their branches while pretending something even more wild than us was in pursuit. We wanted to be free. As if some stranger long ago planted it with the expectation we would be arriving one day, our hackberry was waiting. And while its wood may not be strong enough to carry the load of our houses, its branches are strong enough to take the weight of all the noise, clutter, and hurt we carry around. It was just an old hackberry that quietly lived amongst us, but it has become our hackberry. And on some days it provides nothing more than sustenance to our choir of songbirds. But on other days it grows into something much deeper. For its leaves may not turn six shades of red in autumn, but the hackberry's roots grow deep and they spread into an earth which connects us into something much bigger than we could ever dream to be by ourselves. We are connected to a we and an us and into some place ancient. It's where our kin lives, all of ours. It's our family tree.